let's back up the night before. Prince Rupert, British Columbia. Okay, uh, uh, hold on. What did you guess? Okay, nothing yet. No, we got a UPM. Oh boy, you said the fish would be cooked. <laughs> it is. No, it's raw. Who did that? Okay, we're gonna finish our hangman thing first. Oh, oh. oh, I hope it's going to be nice for fishing tomorrow. Hmm? Yeah. Mom said we should look for a place with ice cream. This is where we're coming in the morning. Do you recognize any of the boats? You're looking for the one we're going on, Dad? Which one? But it's a Holstein. You want a Holstein? No. We should get it. You can just paint it. <laughs> paint it brown. Wait, I don't, I'm not the... To make it as easy as possible for me, we just stopped at a grocery store and we got sandwich makings and fruit and granola bars that, yes, are really just chocolate bars, but that's okay. And we all made sandwiches and the kids enjoyed having TV, although then they complained about how there's nothing on and well, welcome to TV, kids. Never seen you guys get up and ready so fast. Last year. Yeah, we were out. We were waiting at the docks for 15 minutes. Last year when we were out. Plus I was up 20 minutes before four. So good. Be like a cheese grater. I did last time. Oh, it's got more of an inside compartment than the last time we were camping. Yeah. Well, that was the other boat. Is your other boat running? I parked it. You parked it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to gain some more mental stability. That may seem like a funny comment for him to have made, but when you run a business that is built around giving someone ex an experience that unwinds them and relaxes them from everyday life, there's a huge mental emotional draw on that that is not to be ignored. So this is a big shipping port where we were coming out of and I'd never actually been here before, but I couldn't believe how many railroad cars there were. And I'm sorry, friends, my filming for the rest of the day is gonna be fairly shaky because it was really rough weather. I have never prayed to God as hard as I did on the trip out to fishing grounds. <laughs> <laughs> Late night and early morning was surely starting to catch up with them and poor Hamish was still not feeling great as we rocked around all over the place. Right in the center. I know. <laughs> Doing good. 
See color. <laughs> oh wow! You're winning, Mom. That's a big one. Way to go, Mom. It's a good fish, Mac. Don't, don't, don't force them in, just real. Face them. Just let them do the stick, okay? We're not trying to lift them out of the water. As soon as you feel it get light, then you hit it down, and when you run, stay cold, follow, follow, follow. Okay, we're just gonna pull some line off the reel. Just pull, grab the line and pull. Spaghetti tag on it. Oh, look at that. It's the first one I've ever seen like that. What's that? It's been tagged at, at some point, somewhere. Uh, we have to let it go? No. Yeah, we do. Right into that yeah. box underneath your feet. Uh, yeah. You gotta stand back here and keep your eyes open. Good job. There you go. See? Yeah. Yeah, it's like. Real, 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 Way to go, Hamish. Good one, Hamish. Bigger than mine. Don't drop it off the back of the boat. <laughs> you can do it, Kyle. Perfect. <laughs> Good job. Way to there go, you go Freya. Freya. We limited out one spring salmon each, and it was time to see if we could catch some halibut. We were able to move to a more halibut friendly area, um, but still stay in a more protected zone so that we didn't get too rough of seas that would make us head in. But that's pretty cool. That little dot is a salmon feeding on a bait ball on their depth sounder. Halibut fishing was very slow, but I always come prepared with a book, of course. How deep is this thing now? We're taking turns. So, uh, one no, it just seemed to flip it upside down. Stay on the new dock.
smaller though. Reyes is that one right there. I know. Try to take off with it. Oh, no way. Yeah. Wow. How awesome That's is that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you want to keep that? Oh, I'm going to keep that. Ah, dang, I want that. <laughs> <laughs> we can find piles of it. Just go to Toboggan Creek in the fall and pick them off the dead fish. Oh, huh? That is. Oh. And I caught it. I thought it'd be like metal or something. Like the fact that it's just like a clothes tag is pretty funny. Oh, yeah. It's like a big hatchery fish. Yeah, I guess one. I on my uh, Stanley fruit. Is there any way to tell that something is a white spring before you crack into it? Not really. Um, you can kind of look like in here. But you can't always tell. Like a you know, lighter pink one will kind of look light in there. Yeah. Hey Hamish. That's a, see, you a caught a white spring. White spring? Yep. We <laughs> Mac let him do it. Okay, he needs help. Never mind. <laughs> One's a female though. No, it's gonna smell disgusting, Mac. No, Hamish. I'm trying to figure out how to get this. No, you pull them. No, no, let them dry. Mom, you do I'm like this. That one isn't moving. Hey, can I hold it? Put that? Okay, here. Put that. Put that. No, no, just put it back. Just put it in.
Wow, they're so tiny, so many. Like, is she just about to lay them right now then, or are yeah, they just still garbage. growing? That's crazy. Oh, that's the male, but that looks just fine. Yeah. So see, Freya, how that one is like a lighthouse? That's a male, whereas that one is like a drawing of a beehive cartoon. That's a female. We did not get any keeper crabs, and since Freya would be heartbroken to not bring home any crabs, we went to Dolly's Fish Market and took home six crabs for them to also share with Marius's parents. But it was also an Italian food market, which I did not expect. Super fun, all sorts of things. I bought some different like lady fingers to make some desserts with that are nice high quality ones. And I got inspo that we should be making gnocchi and freezing it with our potatoes that need to be used up. So now we have a new project. We need to make a bunch of gnocchi before the potatoes go bad in the cellar. Thank you for joining our whirlwind trip of less than 36 hours. It was fun to go on an adventure with the older three. The younger two were with my in-laws for the night and they had lots of fun there. Be sure to keep watching for future videos because we'll definitely be showing you how we cooked and smoked different meat we got.